Hello everyone, here we are unboxing Dianea muscipula fuse tooth and hair comb. These come from California carnivores. This one here is a free gift, which is hair comb. Hair comb tends to form a rosetti when small. So hair comb has like long teeth. I almost see it as like long eyelashes because it's so long, but yeah, these have long teeth. This one here is by Thomas Carroll from Germany in 1990. So fuse tooth is a cultivar. I actually can see it now. If you look right there, that's the fused tooth. As you notice, the fused webby look kind of comes towards the end of the spring and the middle of summer. Teeth melting was carried by mutations in the tissue culture and was selected from tissue culture seeds. Here's Drosera capensis emerging. As you can see, it's coming out, and I got a few more coming out too. Here's another picture. Now here is a quick time lapse of Fuse Two. Bonus footage. I bought a shirt from California Carnivores as well. I actually moved my Venus flytraps outside. Limited with space and I think I'm gonna have to repot it. As you can see here, it's not gonna fit in this one and I tried to actually put in another tray but it doesn't fit. And these are already cramped down here and I tried sticking it in the bottom part but it just doesn't fit. So we'll see what I can do. If I have to repot it, we'll see. Okay, so I figured it out. I just cut one of these trays, these plastic trays that I have. So now I was able to fit so I don't have to repot it. The only one I actually did repot was helium down here. So now I have one 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have some more on this side. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, twelve. I think that's enough plants I have outside for now. <laughs> if I could, I'll put more. We'll see. So now with the UK Sawtooth 2, it's going to be 14 total. Yeah, I think that's it. That's enough. Okay, so this is how I ended up. I just had them all separate. In its own pot, in its own tray. So I'm going to have to actually water them individually. So I'm just going to use the water bottle, but it's distilled water in here. It's going to be the easiest way to water the plant. 